okay. Uh, my name is Carlos. Uh, I'm here from Rochester, New York. I uh, want to make this video in, to show my gratitude to Ron Paul, uh, who designs the material of the trailers. I grabbed some of his ideas, which I think are right on the point. So this is how my trailer looks like, how I built it and organized it. Um, we're a small construction company. I do interiors, bathrooms, kitchens, electrical, painting, plumbing. So all the interior work I do in the company. Trailer, tools, and so on and so forth are mine. But uh, that's how it is. So here's our trailer, my trailer. I don't like editing, so if something comes wrong, apologize in advance. Uh, so this is, there she is. One of the things that I liked, like I mentioned, is Rumpel's box truck, box trailer, box truck something like that. Design at first, uh, I think is the right way to go, but that's just me. Uh, so here I use my track saws to cut plywood, big sheets. Here I cut it to size. With, I try to do all the cutting here so the customer doesn't get disturbed it does less clean up more efficiency so it's um, yeah i got 12 feet from here to there if i need more i use the other way which has no end uh, in system right now some of the tools are inside the house the job site uh, we're still in quarantine so lucky for me, the house is empty, uh, all materials being ordered, so I don't have a reason to step out of the job site, so safe, still I use my mask and all, but safety first. So the small backing that goes here, Festool, is my backing system for all the tools. Um, take you inside. Uh, I design all the boxes, uh, one size fits all pretty much, so I can interchange the drawers. Um, I don't like to build the boxes to the tools, I mean that's how I built it, the boxes to the tools, not the tools to the boxes. So uh, upper shell, big tools, track saws trails, sanders, saws, what is that, um, sawzos, nail guns, heat guns, automatic tools, bits, everything is labeled as well. Uh, the way that I decided to do it, it's uh, build a box and just put a piece of half inch in the bottom to space it and that is enough. They slide in and out with ease. They don't come out when I drive so all good. Uh, like I said, uh, oh, I built this tower for the festivals. I made a compressor. They stay in place because um, there's two screws on the bottom and that's all it takes to lock them up on the bottom. But I built this sustainer with a compressor hose and everything so when I do have to go inside I just take this. Most of the time the compressor in here 
and I just pull the holes there. Compressor lives here on and off. It's kind of chilly, so that's why the heater is going. Um, it's just a quick video, so I don't know how good or bad it's going to show, but I like the extension on the back so because it's closer to the garage that I can plug in. Compressor hooks there and pull the hose. Great ideas by Ron. My props to him. Uh, nothing is tied up as well. Everything with this ledge works. Nothing comes off when I drive. Um, yeah. I'll see how this uh, lawn drawers tile so it doesn't live there but for now it goes as well for the wall protecting for the dust protection. Traxol lives here and the longest track goes all the way across this is eight feet. I made a hole to extend the rest. That's the other vacuum the C CT26 something like that but right now it's on the shop love or hate them face tools um, some of these tools are all I understand they've been working fine at some point we have to change them so music battery place all the batteries charge when you don't charge them or you need to charge them just put them on the side and stick them in there tapes oh, oh. and this is how everything started my daughter drew that started with the design trailer when I purchased it new and my idea was to make the center this area even though it's offset but it looks like a corridor which I like the build started the ladders are easy access just since velcro and they work tools oh mosquito net <laughs> uh, sometimes that's a the vacuum that is at the shop right now and this is the corridor because sometimes it's winter time especially it's easier to get through this door side door for to get stuff uh, when I first started building I think that tower is a cool idea because you can store a lot of tools that's where the fridge used to live but it broke so I got to buy a new one and yep thank you very much and I hope somebody or anybody had good ideas if not just sorry thank you guys have a good weekend and stay safe.